here we go again with these bloody Voltex batteries. But anyway, this is the new Premium Plus uh, range of batteries that they're doing now. Now, these are around for 100 amp hour battery in Australia here, about $649, which is about $200 dearer than the cheap batteries that I did a um, review on a little while ago. So I couldn't help myself. These are on sale on eBay and I ordered two of them. And as you can see, I've cut the thing open because I don't have any faith in their warranty. Um, and this is what you get. You have a quite a nicely built battery, but as we know, it doesn't take much to build, um, you know, a nice battery when you're doing thousands of these things. Um, one thing I have noted, every time that these things come up for sale or on special, they have a model change. So if you see it for cheap on eBay, there's probably a reason why they're offloading them um, because there was something slightly wrong with these or whatever, or you'll notice that they'll come up with a different box shortly after. Um, so anyway, we'll go through, sort of have a bit of a quick look at these things. They actually have physically different cell sizes um, in them compared to the uh, cheaper one. We'll just have a quick measure. Um, they're around about uh, 200 long by oh, 180 high um, by... So I don't shoot, shoot anything out. Around that 30, uh, about 28 mil thick. So they're definitely a different cell. They have the QR codes on top, which I'll scan once I get these things all pulled apart. Um, definitely a very different BMS, a lot more heavy duty, or bigger in size. I shouldn't say heavy duty, because God knows. Uh, part number on it, if you want to look it up, is a JBD HP28SA-S. Um, so you can see it's a 100 amp variant, four cells, I think is what the 4S would probably stand for. Uh, just having a quick look at it, the posts sit right underneath for the cells, underneath this metal bracket, so you wouldn't want to drop it or push really hard or sit something on top, it'll probably short out. Negatives over here, positives there, that's pretty dodgy. Um, love the, um, the masking tape, insulation tape on the positive post, um, that's pretty rubbish. You can note that this negative cable is on a fair angle. It was jammed hard against here um, on the positive battery bus bar. So that's pretty shit. Um, they're spot welded together, which I guess is okay. Makes it a bit hard to sort of, you want to disassemble the battery. Uh, the BMS does state in the paperwork in the first page that it actually has um, under temperature protection and over high temperature protection. And then you go to uh, section five of it and only says that it has um, high temperature protection. And if you do look down, you can actually see the temp probe there. The BMS is mounted like crap. It is the boards all bowed. Um, it's got a big bow on it because there's no uh, supports underneath the mounting screws. Can't get it to focus, sorry. So that's, you know, that's a bit of a fail. Um, it does have seven AWG cable, two lots on each one of them. Um, everything's sort of nicely heat shrunk. It all feels good and tight. They're spy wrapped the um, battery balance cables. So I guess that's a bit of a start. There's still, you know, heaps of access just tied into there. Um, not much more I can really say about it. I'll be doing the obligatory sort of charge up and, and low capacity test on the thing like you've got to do. Um, and also just checking what, how well the cells are um, balanced out on it too and I'll do a comparison in uh, another video between this and the other cheaper Voltex battery. So stay um, tuned on my channel and we'll see what we get up to.